morning, my life, YouTube, Facebook nation. Uh, this is Jared Moore. Today we're going to talk a little bit about waist training belts. Um, it's becoming extremely popular, um, and I actually do um, endorse them. I will have some of my clients, especially closer to a show, or those that are just having um, just some issues right around the core area, losing some some of the love handle fat, um, lower belly fat in the front as well, um, wear these waist trainers. Um, so we're going to talk about a couple of them, um, which ones to get, which ones not to get. There's a couple different ones out there, and everyone's kind of curious to what they do and, and, and what they're about. Um, so to begin with, I'm going to start with the Tecmo belt. So this one's called Tecmo. Basically, this one... Um, has two different straps of Velcro, um, and basically what you'll see here, uh, you will wrap the initial belt around your waist, and then these Velcro straps actually will tighten the waist, um, or tighten around the waist to make the belt the, the prime size. Um, basically, these are kind of a one-size-fits-all. Um, however, I really don't like them for tightening the core. Um, they're more of a back support uh, stimulant, um, and they just don't get that real snug uh, fit like you'd want um, consistently throughout um, the time you're wearing it. Um, also, during training, you might notice uh, you can't perform certain exercises with this on. Um, also, it will begin to stretch um, if you already have a, a larger abdom um, abdominal cavity um, which will ultimately loosen the belt and again um, really just not going to give you what you are asking for a weight training belt so if you're looking for just a general support belt uh, this Tecmo belt or the Velcro belts um, will definitely be a benefit to you the next belt we're going to talk about um, this one I have a couple different ones uh, the sweet sweat um, bands are usually the most popular um, but these are the general, just uh, uh, elastic nylon bands. Uh, they have a one Velcro side. As you can see, they don't have a, du a dual Velcro like the other one. Uh, but basically, this will wrap around the waist. And you want to get it underneath the clothing because um, these are what's known as sweat bands. And so basically what they will do, they will increase um, the heat on your abdominal wall. Um, also keeping that tight constriction um, and will begin to make you sweat more around your core. Um, ultimately pulling out the water and giving uh, um, a leaner appearance to the, the abdominal wall as well as um, I do believe that over time uh, with use of this it does help to promote um, shrinking of the, the abdominal cavity itself. And finally, uh, this is what I would call kind of the elite style and these are kind of very difficult to size so what I typically do is I go on Amazon and I'll buy the two sizes I think I'm in the range of and then I will return one of them. Amazon has a great return policy on that. Um, so that's what I do with this particular belt. But these belts are the old corsets um, that you think of that uh, women back in the old uh, Victorian times wore. Uh, they there had kind of tie knots um, which you could get if you, you really want to get uh, that super snug is where it literally will lace up like a shoelace and you keep it tight and women would wear these 24 7 um, to get that very very V tapered waist however um, they do note some some organ um, issues basically will begin to constrict the organs together um, and also could cause co complications with the um, digestion as well as um, Significant issues such as diarrhea and things like that you don't want to deal with uh, but this one gets particularly snug You can see it has three metal clasps here and basically this part of the class will go into here It will wrap around the wall of the abdomen um, again best to do this with the shirt off um, and um, around the actual uh, skin and basically I would wear this one um, as well as the sweet sweatbands during cardio mostly um, however, when it comes down to show or competition or those that just want to get a little bit extra, I would actually wear this while I sleep. Um, 
over a period of time, because of how snug you want this, as you can see, uh, you'll probably begin, and this is what I began with this one, it started on the, the first ring, then moved up to the second, then moved up to the third, as I began to lean out further um, to get that super snug fit. Now, you want this one super tight. Um, it will begin to get a little bit uncomfortable over time, but if you get used to it, again, I do endorse these. I do believe in uh, that they will um, help shrink that abdominal cavity. Um, as well, one final thing I'll mention, um, it's going to be a pretty quick video, just I wanted to give a, just a little bit on accessories. There's not so much to talk about about these trainers, however, I, I do like them. I will post a couple links to the ones that I recommend that are on the cheaper end. Um, again, I, I like going for Amazon on this just because you can return it if you get the wrong size. Um, but uh, vacuum posing or vacuum training. Basically, what you will be, uh, what you will do with vacuum training, and I recommend this doing this three to five times a day for about um, three sets of about a minute. Basically, what you will do is you'll pull all your air in, and then breathe all the air out in your core. Breathe, 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 until you literally have no air in your stomach, and then you hold it. If you stand up straight, you'll be able to lengthen out the abdomen, and and, and after about a minute you release and then by doing that and flexing the abs it will actually also begin to give you more abdominal control as well as shrink um, the abdominal cavity and the waist um, you can look up more YouTube videos on uh, uh, vacuum posing um, or vacuum vacuum training there's uh, tons of people that do this so I didn't want to get into this really specifics of it but again you're just breathing in breathing out all the air and then holding it um, you'll also notice, uh, for those of you that do follow bodybuilding, Frank Zane was really known for this. Um, Arnold called him a stick bug on stage because he was the first one to do the vacuum poach, which literally made his waist, <laughs> I mean, probably about 10 to 12 inches um, in diameter, uh, which, I mean, not actually, pardon me, like three or four inches in diameter. It's insane. You can look at old pictures of it. Um, but again, this is Jared Moore with My Life Fitness. Uh, check out our apparel line. I'm wearing one of our hats right now. Um, all of it's custom to you. We have tons of designs, lots of new things coming, shorts, bags. Um, and we are so thankful for your support. Uh, we're going to keep coming out with these videos. Just trying to help you guys, again, be a fitter you. Be a healthier you. Make you feel better um, about who you are. When you look in the mirror, you, sh you should feel like you, you are a reflection of what's inside you. And if there's anything we can do to help... Um, again, we, we offer all kinds of programs. We work with couples, uh, work with diabetics, vegetarians, piscatarians, um, vegans. We, we do everything. So if you have any kind of health problems, diabetes, hypertension, I'd love to help get rid of that for you. Um, get you off those medications um, and get you on some stuff that, to help promote your health, promote your look, make you feel better about yourself. Again, this is Jared Moore with My Life Fitness, and you guys have a wonderful day.